Hello everybody and welcome back to Wheel of Warships. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed last week where we kind of did a whole like the entire clan is involved sort of thing. Honestly, it was a lot of fun. I actually had a seventh video, but we kind of like we started going way off topic. The video was like 40 minutes long in one battle and it was us just talking and it just okay. You know, this would probably be great, but there's, oh, it, it, maybe I'll release at a different time. But anyway, let's get back to the good old wheel. Let's pull up the, the good old wheel of fortune here and give her a spin. Round and round it goes, where it lands, nobody knows. Now, I have reset a few lines going after the Cecilia, so I'm hoping it doesn't land on any of those. London. I... <laughs> Uh, so many of these ships, I have very vague recollections. Obviously, it's a British cruiser. Probably a town class. It's a premium tier 6, so let's go ahead and let's pull that up. There we are. All right, so I got Andrew Cunningham on this. Let's look at our equipment loadout right quick. So I'm running main armaments modules because I want to keep my turrets. I want to keep my torps in. Running engine room protection because I want to keep those steering gears and I want to keep the engine up. Then it looks like I'm going with a main armament build or with a gun build on this. So we've got aiming systems on there and then we got prop mod. Now for consumables, looks like we got a heal, which a tier six, a tier six cruiser with a heal. That's powerful. That's almost more powerful than a tier 7 ship with a radar. So that's really powerful. Then we got a 3 kilometer hydro with a 2 kilometer submarine detect. Now it's 3 kilometers for torps and ships. That's actually pretty good. And then we got 4 kilometers, or we got a smoke generator. We got 4 consumables of that. Looks like action time of 15 seconds with a smoke screen dispersion time of, a, of 99 seconds, 100 seconds. Let's say minute and a half on that. Uh, detectability. What's my detectability from um, from inside smoke? Looks like six point eight detectability from smoke. So I got to keep that in mind. Now I do have HE and AP on here, which is actually kind of odd for a uh, for a British ship, if anybody knows. So I'm gonna throw uh, my my fire starting flags on. How good is this heal? It's not that good. So. All right, I got the boost on. Is there anything else I need? I am going to mount the X-ray Papa. Uh, you, you not know you na. I don't even know how to pronounce that word. All right, let's look at our skills. Uh, probably not the most ideal loadout, but this is the one I'm going to run. So last stand, grease the gears, priority target because I want to know what I'm looked at. I'm gonna have to um. I'm going to have to investigate which one of these skills cuts consumable reload time in half when your AA is active. I need to look at that. I need to give that one more consideration. Okay, this one, the AA defense and ASW expert. I'm going to need to look at that on some of these cruisers and find cruisers that I need that on. But anyway, let's bump up our... Econ boosters. I'm running a little low on free XP and a little low on credits, so I can u definitely use that. Oh, I can take the ship one off. I don't need the ship one. And let's go into battle. All right. Looks like we got a pretty fair lineup for us. We got a 5 6 match, which is ideal. I'm not seeing any tier 4s in there, which is good for the tier 4s. I don't want to fail div, and I'm not seeing any tier 7s. That's pretty good to have one div, full div on the enemy team, and it looks like I got a partial div on my team. So, so with this map, what I've typically seen is the enemy typically comes up here and comes down. We typically come up and go this way. With me spawning middle, I'm going to go towards C, just that I have less of a flank. If I was in a heavy ship, like a battleship or a heavy uh, cruiser, I'd go towards A. But being that the British ships are a little bit more... Fragile, 
a little bit more stay at the back and and spam H E or AP, I'm gonna definitely go towards C because I want to avoid heavy involvement. I want to try and make it late into the game to try and provide late game support. This is not an early game ship. The first few minutes of these games are always so boring. What's my range on my torps again? Seven kilometers, which is pretty good. That's not bad. Looks like I do have um, I do have plane depth charges, six kilometer range on it. That's pretty good. We do have one. We do have one sub, but I'm pretty sure he's going to go towards A, just because they typically spawn on the same side of the map. A lot of battleships for me to, to farm down, which is good. Okay, we do have an enemy in A, or in C, looks like it's the guide. The gate, the guide. Are those two even... Those are the ones in a div, aren't they? Yeah, those are the two in a div, so... Don't know what they're doing. Can I just say the Piotr Veliki with that low... <laughs> that That is a... That is a low freeboard. Holy cow. With that being in a Russian ship, primarily an Atlantic fighting ship, you'd think that that would... Primarily North Atlantic. I should specify that. Primarily North Atlantic... You'd think that it would want to have a little bit better. Okay, so first blood goes to my team. Good Let's job. give a well done to him. Early early wins are a huge deal. Looks like we got a, the Dupre and the Arizona. Okay, we are not spotted, which means there are no enemies over in here. We did get a hit and a fire. What's the fire chance on this? 17%. That's actually pretty good. And these are 8-inch shells. So this is a heavy cruiser, but it's not heavily armored. I should specify that the this is not a ship that... This is a light heavy ship versus a heavy light ship. I would consider something like the Mines to be a heavy light ship because the Mines is very well armored for a light cruiser. Whereas this is very light armored for a heavy cruiser. Difference. Didn't mean to uh, block you off there. Okay, we're switching back to HE. We do have Hydro up. Nice little hit into the Arizona there for him going broadside. Let's see if we can't get this guide out. Oh, that's going to be mis-aimed. Yeah, I... He turned out the last second. I didn't adjust my aim. Let's see if we can torp beats these. No, we cannot. All right, you're dead. Ooh, ouch. I might be dead. So much for trying to stay out of the action until late game. What? Oh, that was that was a weird that was weird shell display. Where did my shells even go on that? All right, I got him on fire and I got him Let's go ahead, let's pop a smoke. Papa Smoke, just like Papa Smurf. Ouch! Something hit me hard. It was the Arizona, probably. Oh, I'm... I'm not doing too hot here, guys. Our team has taken the lead. There's the Duple. Our Stord is engaging him. He, the Arizona's turning away, so I should be able to do some HE farm. I don't want to keep my butt out here for too long, though, because the guide could torp it. I don't remember what the torp, uh, what the torp distances are on the guide. Torpedoes, dead ahead. All right, we got a fire on the Arizona. Is he gonna let it burn, or is it done? He's engaging. 
Let's throw some torps right there just for kicks and giggles. Let's... A little bit too close there and we're spotted by the Duple. Let's hope he leaves our detection range. Yep, okay, so we're clear on that angle. Let's keep AP loaded to try and, ooh, we, nope, the torps are gonna run out, never mind. But his torps, he has nine kilometer torps and he's probably gonna throw some down here, so we should probably move. I'm gonna do one more salvo, wait for him to get behind the island there, boom, headshot. How are we not detected right there? Oh, barely outside our detect range. Holy cow. Arizona should would have spotted us if he was 0.3 kilometers closer to us there. All right, we're still dark here. That's good. We definitely took a beating early on. Pretty good AP on this. I mean, it is 8 inch at uh, at tier 6, so that's saying a lot. A lot of heavy ships at this, or a lot of heavy cruisers at this tier still have like 7.5 or 7 inch shells. So, having full 8 inch shells is pretty good. He is, Arizona's out. He's, he's burning to death. So, let's see if we can't get the final. Nope. That's fine. We got the we got the duplay. So let's come around and let's push into B now. Now I'm gonna try and push up over here to try and kind of get cross shots in and to also try and keep those islands between me and and the enemies. They are pushing back down over here. So I'm actually gonna come over here to try and put this island in between. Yeah, see how the Byron and the Texas are both pushing down that way? I want to be able to keep some island behind me. If I push in like where the gate is showing up on our mini-map right here, that would that would leave me way high and dry. Pushing, Pulling back a little bit more is going to give me a little bit more cover. So let's cut in over here. Let's try and catch up with the Trento. Trento, you need to get back, bud. Get you, back. Are, you are hurting, dude. It's got to get that little bit of extra damage in. That's fine. I'm the same way. I get, I get that tunnel vision. Ooh, well, I may as well make myself useful in these final HP. But he's better to us alive than dead, especially with our points lead there. If we can make them zero point out, it's an easy win for us. And it's a little bit harder to do that when our people keep dying. I realize I'm not exactly in a position to, to criticize anybody here, but still. Guide pop back up over there. The Byron's coming down. Let's see where the Texas pops up. The Texas is the one that I'm kind of worried about because that ship is... That's a strong ship. It, for a tier 5 battleship, that thing is hella strong. I want to try and get into a spot where I can pop my smoke. I guess I have my smoke, so I'm just going to push in... And try and get a little bit more damage. Yeah, the Texas is pushing down. I have a feeling that he's going to keep on pushing down the 7-8 line here. So let's see if I can't get into a position here where I can start farming him. Hopefully the Trento will continue to spot him. Oh, he's turning in. He's going to go back down towards the 5-6 towards the line. All right, and I am being targeted. One of the reasons why I like having priority target up. Ooh. The... That Dutch cruiser is focusing on me. That's that's interesting. Let's see if I can't get back into concealment here. Okay, I'm detected. Pop that heal. And we went dark again. Probably should, should switch to AP there. Probably should have done that a little bit sooner rather than later. The guide is probably over here detecting us. The Kaji... I don't even know how to pronounce that word. Holy cow. Dutch words can be difficult. Holy cow. 
and I'm saying this as a Minnesotan, like we have some, we have words in our language here in Minnesota that do not make any sense. Generator started. Let's go ahead and let's pop our smoke. Let's take the Texas's spotter down. If the Texas keeps pushing in, we might be able to torp him. Smoke screen set. Let's... Let's screw around a little bit. It's not like that's a big deal if we lose if we do that because the subs all the way over there in A still. We did lose the A cap, which is not good, and it looks like the Texas is turning out, which is not beneficial to us. Awaiting instructions. Pretty sure I know this guy, not a weeb. I'm pretty sure he used to be in I Chase's clan. I never, I never was in I Chase Gaming's clan. However, I did play with a couple of the guys. Switch back over to HE. HE is just guaranteed damage. Oh, who hit me? The the Stored or the Trento did. Let's see if I can't get some shots on the Byron here. Maybe set him on fire, piss him off a little bit. There's the guide. All right, Byron is on fire. Is he continuing to burn? He is continuing to burn, so that's probably a dead Byron. Let's throw a few more shots on him just to make sure. All fell short, that's fine. Oh, he put it out, so let's see if we can't reach out and touch him like Joe Biden touching a little girl. We got a couple more hits there. Not enough. He has 132, which is 131 more than he needs. And we win. 1,000 points. Didn't do much this battle. I really didn't, but I did just provide good support. Just good, steady support, which is all I really needed to do. Where did I place on the team? I placed on the top half. That's not bad. I would have liked to be a little bit higher up, but you know what? A win is a win. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.